In an area of southwest London that's most famous for its rugby stadium is a quiet corner away from the buzzing crowd. For behind this often overlooked group of buildings, you'll find an unusual association that's been tirelessly promoting the gentle art of beekeeping for a hundred years. So, why are bees so important? Without bees pollinating the blossom, all of these would disappear. Imagine that. Honeybees are mysterious wild insects that exist all around the world, driven by natural forces that humans can barely sense. But they can never be tamed. They've existed for millions of years because they act without individual greed, working for the good of the colony. Humans have collected and enjoyed honey for at least the last 9,000 years. Open a hive and intoxicating wafts of fresh honey, beeswax, plant resins, and warm cedarwood bombard your senses. The smoke makes them feed and helps them feel relaxed. Honeybees live in colonies like microorganisms filled with honeycombs that act as nursery, larder and honey factory. In the total darkness of the hive, bees communicate using vibration, chemical pheromone scent signals and nuanced touch. Female worker bees live short lives and are continuously replaced by the queen, marked with a green dot. At her peak, she lays over 2,000 eggs a day, raising hive numbers to over 50,000 in the summer. The colony works as if it has a single brain, yet each bee still behaves independently. The eggs quickly develop into larvae before pupating into adults. As the worker bee ages, her jobs change. She feeds the larvae, cleans the honeycombs, defends the hive entrance from intruders, takes out the dead, fans her wings to cool the hive, creates heat for the brood and makes honey. At three weeks, she leaves the dark safety of the hive and flies off foraging for up to two miles or more throughout the daylight hours. Once a bee finds a source of nectar and pollen, she returns to the hive to perform an intricate and informative waggle dance in total darkness. The vibrations she creates show others where to forage. The workers collect nectar and brush pollen into the sacks on their back legs. After foraging all day, the workers carry on making honey all night and exude wax from glands to create the honeycomb. No wonder they only live seven weeks. The honey they create is precious with antiseptic and antimicrobial properties, as well as being delicious to eat. It's why there are beekeepers associations across the UK maintaining hives, managing diseases and promoting bee health and encouraging us all to keep our world free from any pollution that affects all wildlife. Three enthusiasts set up the Twickenham and Thames Valley Beekeepers Association in May 1919 to help households impoverished after World War I. At their first meeting in 1920, the members enjoyed a bohemian tea party. Over the decades, the association has been moved around the area, eventually settling in Witten Road, Twickenham. Protection from bees varies considerably, including this gent in his top hat. Of particular influence and importance were our scientific experts, including William and Joseph Horrid Hempsall, Rosina Clark, and Alfred Talbot. I consider it a real honor as the local member of parliament to be patron of the Thames Valley Beekeeping Society. It's an important 
part of Twickenham. It strengthens our local ecology, it does wonderful educational work in the local community and bring home to hundreds, thousands of people the importance of bees. Today, the members continue to share the knowledge and develop skills and, like the bees, work tirelessly for the good of the colonies. Our experienced beekeepers continue that legacy today, teaching our philosophy as well as the science and technical skills, with winter theory classes, practical summer courses, and coaching members to reach nationally recognized standards. The connections and the dangers to the bee population are not self-evident, they need to be explained, and I think the society has done a wonderful job over the years in outreaching in that way. I think it's great that lots of people have recently started taking up beekeeping and I would encourage people to continue to do that because the more people there are keeping bees, the stronger their populations will be across the country. Every year we hold an annual honey show with competitions for honey, honeycombs, wax products and mead. The association also sells beekeeping equipment to its members. Ted Chatley has run our trading hut for more than 41 years. I've been keeping bees since 1974. The public is more aware of what's going on and the diseases and the problems that the bees themselves have. Over the recent decades, the association has become recognised as a centre of excellence. I think uh, the way that they conduct themselves here, it, they should be the flagship. But looking to the future, we want to engage the coming generations to protect the pollinators. We welcome planned visits by school classes every week from April to September. I see how much my dad enjoys it, and it's a really good pastime. The kids return home asking their parents to plant bee-friendly flowers and urging them not to use chemical sprays that can affect and kill bees and other insects. But you have to be really careful so they don't sting you. These tiny creatures are more sensitive to insecticides and to pollution than we could possibly imagine. So every effort you make to help them to thrive is vital. We want to hand on the knowledge that we've gathered over the last century. Only if we can educate the future guardians of our land about the importance of bees can these vital tiny insects continue to pollinate the blossoms and create the food we need and so enjoy. And in turn, that will ensure that the Twickenham and Thames Valley Beekeepers Association continues to thrive for the next 100 years. Yay!